Hi, this is Matt with Paddling Warehouse in Lake Bluff, Illinois, and we are here today with the Wilderness Systems Zephyr 160. 160 has a smaller sister ship called the 155. The 160 is going to be best suited for somebody maybe up to six foot two, six foot three, and up to about 230, 240 pounds. If you're a little bit smaller than that, you might want to look at the 155. Um, this boat has been designed for play. So it has an upturned nose and tail. If you want to take this out on some waves, you're going to discover that, that little bit of rocker uh, makes the boat uh, fairly maneuverable, very playful. Um, it's a great boat for somebody who might be looking at getting into a long uh, touring kayak, but feels that some of the other boats out there are maybe a little bit narrow in the hips. This is about 23 and a half inches across at its widest point, and we have found that even some bigger folks can get in this boat and feel very, very comfortable. Uh, the boat is uh, form-fitting without being snug if that makes sense. So if you're looking at, let's say, a Wilderness Systems 170 Tempest, or if you're looking at a Tsunami and you find the Tsunami's too wide, the Tempest is too narrow, this hits that sweet spot right in between. Two full storage compartments fore and aft, and then it also has a dedicated day hatch. Uh, this does have separated bulkheads in it, so if you're looking for a little dry storage area uh, just behind yourself, that's what that's there for. Drop down skeg. Wilderness Systems changed their skeg deployment system a year or two ago, so all you have to do now is press on this little tab and then slide it back and the skeg drops right out and then to retrieve it all you do again is just press slide it forward obviously it's adjustable at any point in between no uh, steel cables anymore they actually have gotten rid of that in favor of a spring-loaded system so you're not gonna have to worry about bringing the boat back into us in three or four years when the cable gets kinked up and your skeg doesn't work anymore um, the seat system on the Tempest uh, on the Zephyr rather and the Tempest, has the Wilderness Systems Phase 3 seat. Uh, long seat shelf, good range of adjustability. You can make the seat base raise up. All you have to do is grab this big gray tab, pull up a little bit, and you can get the seat base to rise up under your thighs and give you a little bit more under leg support. Has hip pads that come standard on the boat. If you're feeling a little bit too tight in the boat, you can always remove those. It's super easy. All you have to do is loosen up a couple straps. And has the back band as opposed to the high seat back. If you want to learn how to do an Eskimo roll uh, or any other sort of advanced techniques that require more upper body movement, you're going to find that the back band is your buddy in that case. Available in a bunch of different colors. This is mango. You can also do this boat in indigo and in uh, sonar, which is the green, gray, black. I have to be careful because they also have a a color called Solar. Um, and uh, we've usually got these in stock at our shop in Lake Bluff. If you want to give it a test paddle, all you can do is give us a call 847 283 0400 or shoot us an email via our website www.paddlingwarehouse.com. Thanks.